Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fans and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the free to play guide for the new transforming physical Vegeta. So obviously being a full physical mono type event, we're going to be bringing a SDR team. And this is the team that I have fought up of. You can obviously improve this. I'm just bringing cards that are pretty easy to get. So the hardest card here is going to be probably the EZA Gohan, just because he doesn't, you know, come around all too often. He is fully EZA 8, 100%. Every single unit here is 100%, except for the Battlefield Goku. We have the friend Ella Vegito, and we have our own Ella Vegito. You can obviously up that up to maybe like, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Ella Brawly. You have a lot of options for an STR friend leader. I'm bringing Master Roshi as the leader. You can switch around Ella, Vegito, and Master Roshi if you'd like to. I think Master Roshi as the leader just provides a little bit more diversity in the STR leads as you can bring, you know, extreme STR leaders if you'd like to. Uh, then we have the Krillin. He's a damage reducer. He's in the barber shop. He reduces damage by 50% when guard is activated. So anytime he blocks a physical attack, which is 100% of the time in this event. Then we have B-Pan. She reduces damage as well. She also has the stun. You, you can stun on the first four phases of this event. So that's really good. And you obviously get the healing passive as well. Super useful card. And she gets an LR form in the 4 year anniversary. So for those that are playing on JP, that will obviously help a lot more better. And then same as the Battlefield Goku he gets an Awakening on JP. Get that guy awakened. He's going to do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, right now in this form, he's not the greatest. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to try and do this with no items. You don't need any items for a team like this. So we get started straight away onto the field. I did do this event using an EZA Gohan friend. So imagine a 30% uh, leader of a friend and then a 70% leader as your own leader. So 100% stats all together for the leader skill. You, I still did it with no items. So... Um, doing this with double 70% leaders, it should be very, very easy, actually, especially with LR, double LR Vegito on each rotation, just doing consistent damage and tanking, of course. So here we go, first phase. Uh, we got pretty much the rotation that I wanted anyway. I'm going to go and do the 12 key uh, super for the LR Vegito so we can build the attack up, of course. And we are going to take a super attack, shouldn't be too much here. 16,000, easy peasy. So we'll have EZA Gohan on this rotation. The other rotation will have B-Pan. So we can have consistent, you know, healing, tanking, and damage output. So honestly, out of all of the transforming events, uh, the Goku, Frieza, and Vegeta, I think Vegeta may be the hardest one. Uh, I think he has like, I don't know, <laughs> whether it's just because of the team that I'm bringing. But I feel like this guy is a little bit harder than the other two. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to just do this. Let B-Pan tank it all. It doesn't really matter too much. And we actually took out the first phase in uh, last turn. So now we're on to the Super Vegeta. Yikes. <laughs> 43,000. She didn't activate her passive there. But we heal it straight away. All back up. Now that I realize, I think Vegito is actually a better tanker than B Pan overall. So we get the Super Saiyan Link from linking up with the Battlefield Goku and the Vegito, so that's pretty cool. Extra little bit of damage. Uh, again, I'll just go for the 12 key. I think we'll be able to take him out in this turn as well, since we grabbed a decent amount of Rainbow Orbs right there for the Gohan. His attacks that should be pretty decent. So yeah, we took double digits there and 17,000 only. Vegito is obviously the better tank compared to V-Pan right now. And we get the additional attack, so we're building up that attack really well. And that's going to take out the Super Vegeta. Now onto Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Very easy stuff. I'm going like this. And yeah, we'll grab that one purple key orb. Do this. All these rainbows should be for the Gohan. Let's see how the friend one goes here. Can he get an additional? Nope. No criticals either. And whatever damage we took, we should be able to heal back up with the B-Pan. If she can critical, guarantee. No, but we do get the stun. So we're not taking any hits next turn.
What's good about this team is also when you get the Doken mode, it doesn't really matter which rotation you have it on, because you obviously both have, you know, Ella, Vegito in each rotation, so that's really good. And I think this should be enough to take out, uh, not gonna lie, this uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta should be dead. Oh, especially dead. With that additional super. And uh, Gohan will take out the Vegeta here. And then we are on to Super Saiyan God. Yes. Alright, very, very good rotation actually. Uh, we can tank with Krillin as well. We'll get the um, 12 key again. And then we'll start 18 king at the final phase. It's not like it mattered anyway. We're going to... I mean... Vegeta can tank on the first stage. Without building up his defense. So... Speaking of defense, we're going to greatly lower the defense with Krillin. Also got the critical as well. Krillin, actually a very good tank here. Alright, let's do it. 18 key super. Might as well. See how much damage we can do with, you know, a built up attack. And we got the Masuroshi to uh, support. See how much we'll take a super. I'd say like 10k. Double digit damage. I think, I think we built up enough attack and defense. For this event. 1 million damage. No critical. Unfortunately we are not able to take him out in this turn. Unless Master Roshi gets an additional super attack. Which is unlikely. Yeah. But as you can see no items so far. All very good. I'm going to put Vegito at the start. So he can build up his attack still. Since uh, this friend one did not do that many additional supers compared to mine. Now let's see how much the friend one can tank. See if he can tank for double digits. No, 12,000. So yeah, he's got a little bit more building up to do. And there we go. And on to the last phase now. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. He can actually still do a decent amount of damage. So still be careful. Uh, when going up against this guy. Get the double rainbow orbs there. And Krillin can also get a super attack, which is kind of nice. Alright, how much can he tank the blue Vegeta super attack? Don't think it'll be double digits this time. But four digits is still not too bad. Seven hundred thousand or oh, additional normal, not additional super attack, unfortunately. Uh, Doken mode should be arriving very soon. Unfortunately, we might have to do it uh, when our own Vegeta comes around again. I don't think we can get it next turn. It's funny how you can still debuff uh, the defense on here. I thought it was negate everything in the transforming Goku, I believe. I may be wrong about that. Um, but here we go. Let's do that. We'll grab the red so we can get the Doken mode more guaranteed uh, next turn. Still don't even think that will be enough. Can we get a crit? Yes, 1.2 million. We have two and a half bars to go. Don't think we need the Doken mode. I'm going to try and avoid it, actually. So let me know in the comments section if you guys have summoned on the Vegeta banner. Let me know what you guys pulled in the banner. I think it's actually, I only checked the JP's banner, but it looks like a really, really good banner, guys. So if you haven't summoned, I recommend you do so. And uh, let me know what you pulled because you're definitely going to pull better things than me because I'm not summoning on it. Oh, just under the Doka mode. So that achievement completed. Xbox Live achievement completed. <laughs> don't use Doken mode on a Doken event. And there we go. 755,000, 7 medals, super 2 difficulty. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy. Peace out.